Hey everyone, today I have a review of the 2008 Porsche Cayman S. I'll show you some features of the car, tell you some specs, and give you a good look at it. Let's get to it. I'm here at Spanos Motors in Daytona Beach. I'd like to thank them for allowing me to come down and review this car. Spanos has a large selection of pre-owned luxury and sports cars. Looking around the car, you'll notice it has those nice Porsche lines. Large flared fenders, of course. 18 inch alloys with red calipers and vented brakes. The fuel tanks in the front of the car as well as the trunk and I'll show you that a little later in the video. Got the air intake for the engine right there on the flared rear fender and the swooping roof line right here gives the classic Cayman look to it. Got the rear spoiler the cool thing about this spoiler is that it raises at high speeds. And then the dual exhaust that we'll take a listen to later in the video. So looking in the trunk, which is actually the front of the car, you'll notice you have a good size compartment right here to store some groceries. Got a small light there. And you have various compartments here which has your battery as well as your CD changer. Now I'll pop open the back. And look in here. So that's actually the engine right there that you're looking at. And you have a smaller sized uh, compartment back here. It's a mid-mounted engine and I can't actually show it to you because it's actually a hassle to get to but I will tell you some specs about it. The engine itself is a 3.4 liter H6 engine so that means it's horizontally opposed. Uh, it's also known as a boxer engine. It makes 296 horsepower and 251 pound-feet of torque. The car gets 18 city and 25 highway, so it's actually very reasonable in the gas mileage respect. The advantage of the mid-mounted engine is that it keeps the center of gravity of the car very low and makes the handling around the turns very sharp. From this side, you get a good look at the flared rear fenders, and it actually looks very similar to its bigger brother, the 911. Take a look at the car with its headlights on and its hazards on. Got xenon headlights and fog lamps as well. The rear as well. Let's open up the door, take a look on the inside. There's actually a cool feature. When you open up the door and the window rolls down a little bit happens quick but that's something cool you got nice leather seats in here a Bose sound system hop in and start it up for you guys so I'll show you around a little bit you got leather on the doors over here here's your handle here are your window controls your seat memory right here for the electric adjustable seats. Over here in the corner you have your headlight controls. Then this is your Tiptronic controller right here. Shift up or down. Your phone button for Bluetooth. This is a radio scroller. You can control the volume on the radio. This is the back button for the radio, as well as the phone hang up button and the radio station scroller. And on the right side, you also have another Tiptronic controller, depending on which hand you want to use. Your cruise control settings are down here. And the, I guess they tend to favor left-handed people in this car because it's one of the only cars I know that has the key on the left-hand side, right back here. So, you can turn the accessory settings on by twisting the key once, as usual. 
that will start up like that. That's what the gauges look like when they lit up. And now let's start it up. So when it's all started up, the engine is right behind my back, so it uh, you can feel some rumbling, but that's good because this is supposed to be a driver's car and you, you want to feel the engine as you're driving. Looking down here, this is your control center for all your gadgets in this car, and you can see that with all the buttons. Turning on the system. Get some Rod Stewart on there. You got your uh, phone settings on this side. You have different menus that you can scroll through, so your main menu, your audio, your sound, the telephone settings, the mail, which is not available in this car because uh, you need a certain card for it, but you can actually send emails on here. Then you have your information, your trip settings, and then the nav system as well. You have your climate control system down here, and your gear shifter over here. Shift, you push down like this, and then pull back to shift it. Moving down the corner, you got your parking brake. Got a little compartment right here with your lighter and an ashtray. And then on this side, you have a little compartment over here with some coin, uh, places to put your coins, and a little 12 volt adapter right here, as well as a little bit of space to put your stuff. Moving over here, you got the glove compartment, decent size, you can put some stuff in there. You guys are probably wondering where the cup holders are. They're actually hidden right here. Push this right here, and then the cup holders will swing out. And one right there. These two buttons just below your climate control system are some cool buttons. This one controls your spoiler, so it will raise the spoiler up and down. And this is your sport button, which allows you to switch into sport mode. The red line in this car is just over 7,000, which is crazy, and when you hear this thing rev, it really makes a noise. How about we move over now to some exhaust clips so you can get a listen to what it sounds like. That's all I got for the 2008 Porsche Cayman S. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe because there will be more car related videos. If you have any questions or comments, send me a message or comment on the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.